Hello, welcome back to my channel. So glad that you are here. Just a quick reminder before I get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you'll get notifications and you'll never miss any of my content. Today, I'm gonna bring you a wig review for pinkypromise.com. We're gonna take a look at a brand new style by Tressa Laura. This is called Glam, and the color on this one is 1426 R10. More on her in just a minute. Okay, let's start talking about Glam by Tressa Lure in 1426 R10. So Glam is, she is definitely Glam, isn't she? I mean, she's long mermaid hair, straight with some very subtle, pretty layers that uh, fall around the face. Uh, her longest layer in the front here is 13.25. So she does not have a bang. Um, so if you wanted to cut one in, you could definitely do that. These are the Effortless Heat Friendly Fibers by Tressa Lure. So, um, you know, you could, if you know what you're doing, or you could have your stylist, you know, trim a bang in if you wanted to have more bang coverage, you know, or, or uh, you know, shorten these layers a little bit around the, around the face. I think that she's beautiful, but I am going to be honest with you. These are long heat friendly fibers. So wear this around your neck. No. <laughs> Kind of how I'm feeling with this style. So I have had this wig on and off just a couple of times. You know, I did the live where I um, unboxed the and showed you guys these new styles. And so I've had it on for that. And then I combed her out gently and set her on her box. And now I've put her back on. I had to put her on and take her off one time because I decided to wear a wig grip underneath because with these long layers and this weight, the weight of the hair is all on the ends here. So it just felt kind of heavy to me. It's an average size wig and I have a petite head. So I decided to put on a wig grip. And just in that taking on, taking off, I was combing out tangles here, you know, especially for this nape. So make sure with these long heat friendly wigs that you have your wide tooth comb with you, you are gonna need to comb through and more than likely you are gonna need to heat treat these ends pretty quickly into the life of this wig. I mean, honestly, I would probably, if I was gonna wear this today and wear it all day, probably by the end of the day, I would be taking my flat iron and just running it over these ends. You literally can iron those clumps out. This is, you know, this wig is straight, so it is easy to care for with your flat iron, but I just wanna be realistic with you guys. You know, it's my job to be honest and give you, you know, <laughs> all the pros and the cons of these different styles. So, but I think she's really, really a beautiful style if you are comfortable with long, heat-friendly fibers. So I will do a turn so you can see her all the way around, then we'll get into all of her specs. So front, obviously. So lengthwise, she is in the middle of my lower back. Okay, back to the front. So let's look at this lace front. I think they did a really nice job with their knotting. The lace looks good. This one is rooted with a 10, so it's not a super dark brown. I love that Tressler has, they have an R8, they have an R10, they have a lot of um, brunettes. And uh, so I like that they didn't do, you know, just a super dark root with this 1426. It looks really nice. So this is a full mono top. You can part it wherever you want. I have it parted kind of right center but you know, you could move that more central. You could move it to the left. You know, you can move that part around. Now I'm gonna have to straighten her out a little bit here. See, but do you see what I mean? They, they do tangle. So just gotta straighten out those fibers. Gently straighten out the fibers. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the measurements for her. Uh, oh, I will show you the ear tabs too. So great coverage around the face. Looks really good. Really, really pretty. Okay, so measurement wise, 13.25 inches here in the front, 18 inch measurement from the crown, 14.75 inch sides, 16.75 inch nape. So long nape, um, beautiful for styling, of course, which we'll get to at the end of the video. So, okay, I'll pop her off and we can look at the interior of her cap. Okay, here's the cap, full mono top, allows you to part it wherever you want to on top of your head. No permatease, by the way. 
um, extended lace front, extends down onto those ear tabs, gives you true temple to temple coverage of that lace front, very nice. She has soft felt ear tabs with metal that keeps that flush against your face. Open wefting all through the cap. Extended nape, Velcro adjusters. Wefted caps are always, they always have a lot of stretch. So this is um, fitting my petite head fine. Like I said, I did add, add the wig grip. Um, so I would either wear a wig grip with this with my petite head or wear, um, you know, put some lace tape here to have to feel like it was going to stay on because like I said, it is kind of heavy on the ends. Okay, let's take a look at this pretty blonde. So this is the 1426 R10. Very, very pretty, like I said, rooted, but, but but a nice root that I feel like works with the rest of the colors. Um, I would say this is a warm blonde. It is not, it doesn't really have cool tones to it. I think every yeah, everything that they include is more on the is on the warm side. So golden, sandy, you know, it has it's it's a warm one. So more of a yellow versus a white blonde. So okay, so their description is a dark blonde highlighted with medium warm blonde with a medium brown root. So very easy. So you can see the dimension, you know, you can see those different uh, blondes. See that warm blonde that's highlighted with. So of course, with your rooting anywhere you separate the hair, you're gonna see that root. So for styling, um, you're gonna see it under here, under the nape as well. So, and when I showed you the ear tabs, you could kind of see it. They put some of the light fibers in front of it, you know, but yeah, that rooting just follows, you know, follows along with the whole uh, lining of the cap and everything, so. It's a really, really pretty blonde. Very, I think it's a very natural, warm blonde. So, okay, let's check it out outside in the shade under my patio cover. So you can see what I'm talking about, the rooting when we go outside. It doesn't stray too far from the blonde, so I think it looks natural with it. Lace front. Okay, here we are just on the edge of the sun. You can see the warmth. glasses and styling and all that so she is ear tuckable um you will you i'm sure you're noticing she's kind of flopping in the face so she's going to need some training there so you know pulling her back and clips and stuff like that will probably <laughs> you know help out with that at, in the very beginning until you get those fibers trained remember you can use your heat tools so you know you can blow dry it back away from the face if you want to and things like that so but glasses are no problem like i said i'm not feeling permatease on this wig so but it does have a lot of hair. I would consider it more of like a, I think it's a natural density, but it's a natural density if you have thick hair. Does that make sense? So more makes it, because of the amount of hair, with it being a full mono top and being so long, because of the amount of hair, I would consider it more of like a medium density just because it's, it has a lot of hair. <laughs> so, okay, so what can't you do? I mean, you can do everything with this wig. So one easy way to keep this back away from your face would be to use a headband, you know, that way when you're looking down, if you're in the wind or whatever, keep those fibers out of your face. I also love like um, if I, especially in wind with heat friendly fibers with a long wig like this, put a headband in and then put like a scrunchie or, you know, some kind of a low ponytail holder and or braid it. And that will, you know, keep those fibers from blowing around and getting all tangled and stuff. So, cause like I said, this one is definitely tangling very easily. So she goes half up, half down very easily. You know, you can just do all the styles. You have all this length. I feel like I'm too close to the camera. You need to see all the length. Um, you know, you can do the ponytail. She's got the extended nape, which is really nice. Hold on, what are we doing back here? Just don't want to have it looking too funky. It's kind of hard to style on camera, obviously, but you know, don't look too funky. Anyway, you know, you would style that in your mirror, but you know, so braid twist, side pony, you know, <laughs> you can do 
everything with this. I mean, you have a ton of hair, a ton of length, easy, you know, uh, easily you could do a lot of styling with it. And then of course you could go in and put some waves in because it is heat friendly. So you could put some curls in if you wanted to. So, so thank you, Pinky Promise, for sending this link to review for y'all today. There'll be purchase information in the drop down box down below the video. Thanks for watching. Take care. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye. Thank you.